welcome everyone. Today's session is about a new project, which is in telecom industry. I request people to switch off videos, please. I have a few more videos still on. Narasimha M, your video is still on. You can switch it off. Right. So I'll share my screen. Is my screen visible? Yes, it is. All right. All right. Yes, Excellent. So, welcome again. For your information, the video is getting recorded. Yeah. Right. Thank you. So, video is getting recorded so that I can share it back in your uh, Google Classroom platform for your project assignment. The reference number for this project is 0017 and it comes under telecom category. And this project addresses one of the challenging aspects that the telecom industry is going through, which is handling the churn rate. I'm muting all the participants, but you have option to unmute yourself. If you have a question, you can unmute and you can ask it. Okay. All right. All right. Excellent. All right, so let's start. Let me make this. Okay, just give me a second. I shall make this more flowing through. Read mode, full screen mode, one second. Okay, I think this is good enough. Okay, business case. I'm reading out directly from the document. No churn telecom is, is a uh, name given in the project, which is uh, a company in Netherlands actually, uh, which is an established telecom operator in Europe with more than a decade in business. Due to new players in the market, the telecom industry has become very competitive and retaining customers becoming challenge. Okay. In spite of notion initiative of reducing tariffs, promoting more offers, the churn rate, when you say churn rate, it's a percentage of the customers who are moving out from Oh, count here. Can you hear now? Is it audible? Hello? Yes, it's yes, okay, so people who say not audible, please check your speakers because uh, uh, if someone is someone can hear my voice, then there is no problem technically from my side. Audible. Yes, it is audible. All right, thank you. So, uh, in spite of uh, initiatives from no churn of reducing tariffs, promoting uh, uh, offers, the churn rate is well above ten percent. When you say churn rate, it's a percentage of customers migrating to the competitors, basically jumping to the other uh, telecom provider. All right. And um, in fact, there is a lot of, I mean, this is not in the business case, but I'm disclosing you. Uh, there is a lot of competition in terms of price war. Each of the telecom operators are reducing the, uh, the, the tariffs, basically giving a lot of free stuff and reducing the tariffs, re reducing uh, the, the call rate and the data rates um, to get more customers to retain them. But it is a never ending story because when you reduce something, the competitor is immediately reducing as well. And customers are benefiting, but um, at the cost of telecom, telecom companies not making any profit. And Nochen Telecom, being an established operator with a lot of brand value, is unable to cope with this, um, uh, with this new change in the market. All right, so Notion reached you, approached you to explore the possibility of machine learning to help with the following use cases to retain the competitive edge in the industry. Okay, is the use case clear? The business case clear? Yep. All right. Yes. Okay, the project goal as requested by them, the first goal what they want to analyze is understanding the variables that are influencing the customers to migrate. So which are the areas? There might be many areas, 
tariff is one of them, right? There could be also a, a billing not properly coming in. Uh, sometimes uh, you get a billing for the things which is not actually, uh, you know, uh, they opted for. Or uh, is it something to do with the customer relationship or they're not happy with it? Uh, or whatever it is. So what are the variables that are influencing the customers to migrate? That is one thing. All right. And the second one, uh, creating a churn score, like an indicative to, to drive retention campaigns. So saying that, you know, if this, this aspect has a higher churn score and this aspect has lower churn score, accordingly, we can uh, uh, direct the campaigns. So you figure out what they actually wanted in this because uh, I'm not very sure what they're asking in this churn risk scores yet. The third one is pretty straightforward. Introducing a new predicting variable called churn flag with the values yes and no, basically one and zero. It means that it's, it's going to predict that this customer is going to, uh, to the competitors. He's going to jump. He's going to migrate to the competitors next month. Okay. So that we can send some lucrative offers through email or maybe calling uh, to the people who have churn rate. Yes. I mean, churn flag as yes. And this is very beneficial because uh, if you look at uh, losing a customer, it has two impacts to you. One, you're losing the, the revenue coming from the customer. All right. Second, the person moving to the other uh, competitor, uh, basically adding revenue to your competitor. So your competitor is getting a market share. It is double blow. One blow is you are losing the money and second blow is your competitor is gaining it. Right. Rather than that, we could actually really give a lucrative offers in terms of cutting the price to off or even taking a loss to manage this customer who is leaving you, your company. And also it will help, you know, basically not competitor, not growing, which will help you to kind of balance the, the market instability. All right. So finding who are the customers who might leave in the next uh, billing period is a very important aspect of this entire program project. All right, so that we can provide a very lucrative offer. There is also a subtle part of it. When a customer moves from your company to the other company, he will also carry a negative message saying, you know what, uh, no chain been there for like a couple of years and they're no good. And I moved to a new customer, new uh, telephone companies. They are being amazing and whatever it is. So this actually causes a negative word of mouth talk, which significantly affects the brand value as well as it will also pull more of your customer base towards your competitor. The third use case is bang on the point to increase the, the customer retention as well as the brand retain the band value, right? So that is the third one, which is a very important one. And the fourth one is it's, 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 it's more like into deployment, exporting the train model with the prediction capability for the uh, churn flag highlights the flag with the input variables, uh, input variables, documents, that can be okay documentation i guess input variables documentation that can be integrated with the internal applications right there are a couple of typos please uh, ignore that uh, this will help identify possible churn flag as customers and provide more attention in the customer not just by providing retention package this is more like uh, uh, you know everywhere when the customer is has a high flag like he might migrate in every customer touch points, including your customer care, if someone calls customer care, if you raise a ticket, if you request something, request fulfillment is something, I want to change the tariff or I want to ask something which is like a request to the company. We can actually prioritize this uh, request and customer touch point as a high priority for quick resolution for any questions they may have. This will help the customer to get a positive feeling back. So. We, of, of course, it will be nice if you can provide to the entire customers with the same kind of premium service, but that will require more resources and it's more expensive, right? But at least the pre people who have a high churn flag, if you can provide a premium customer care and also fulfill the request requirement in a quicker resolution in a nicer fashion, right? That might help our customers who are not happy to become happy. That is more like exporting the model is what from a data scientist point of view, the rest could be more software engineering. So from your perspective, I guess the, you have to just export the model. 
using whatever export uh, sklearn uh, job lib i think uh, you can use job lib ex external job lib to export it and write some documentation about the input variables i think that's the work of data scientists or data team or machine learning team and the rest is more like software engineering will be taken care by someone who is working on the internal applications okay is the four objectives clear i will provide a little more clarity on the third one okay i'm just trying to yeah first one is understanding the influence variable is mostly saying which variables are actually acting uh, uh, the entire data second one is churn score which i'm not very sure uh, second one i'm not very sure what it is but basically an indicative of which variable is actually have more churn score so that we can drive the retention campaigns third one is predicting the new uh, churn flag which is the entire project as i as a, a, from my perspective and the fourth one is more about exporting the model and some documentation around it so that your software engineering team can do some integration with the dashboards and uh, uh, you know customer care uh, applications to give more attention to the people who might migrate to the competitors is that clear yes ashok i have uh, is it a trend score like a, is it a civil score like a, how the banking or maintaining uh, the credit report like the same thing is a churn score in the telecom industry in their country i i'm not sure i'm definitely uh, I, i think it is not that what civil score is this is different this is more about internal churn score so trying to see which variables are influencing the customers so that we can do something about it in our retention campaign let's say people are moving away from because of the price so in your marketing campaigns in in whatever ads and stuff we can highlight the price if the people are moving away because of the customer care like they are not responding there is a long waiting time so we can highlight something like uh, uh, you call in a second you have a customer you have a executive to work with you so it is most yeah, like the customer satisfaction in, in terms of uh, mostly all the touch points so the i mean it's my understanding again i have to get get a bit of more clarity on this uh, what i think is it's more about understanding the churn score that can that can be indicated to drive retention campaigns to understand which variable has more churn score it is very similar it is very much linked to the first point right and uh, but that is more quantified second one is more quantifying first one is more ordering like this is the first two three variables kinds and second one is more about quantifying giving a score so that your marketing campaign actually use these variables to you know do the better marketing campaigns this is what okay. i think this is what i think i am not sure so i i also want you to do some research on it okay okay and the data given is about 4617 uh, records right it has a state account length area code and phone number international plan some other things daily minutes being called charge etc etc night minutes night call charge international minutes whatever customer service calls and there is a variable called churn which is basically they churned off or not i guess um and this format of data will be shared to you after the call and it will be in csv format so you don't have to worry about because there is no much uh privacy thing related to this data so this is fine to share so we are attaching csv format directly to you so you don't have to worry about querying the mysql it will be a direct file to you so i'll be sharing uh, i'll be attaching it in in your google uh, assignment with the csv file itself okay there is no none value as you can see but you have to still do the missing value analysis maybe some character being used as a null character which is not being detected by my uh, python info um, uh, method okay 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 thank you all right so that's all for the uh, the introductory assignment and um, i have a question from here can you also get that uh, data that entice the customer to stay uh, do we have to come up with offers as well uh, coming up with offers is actually a different use case uh if you can do something about it that's great because uh, as a customer i'll be happy to listen to all the ideas what you can have i mean there is also a proposition in the discussion we have 
um, they want to create some uh, unsure it is live but the data is something uh, which is which is also customer data but not from the same customer the so business case is from a different customer the data is from different different customer all right okay and um, uh, I, ha I have an interesting discussion with one of the uh, similar telecom client who are talking about can we create automate this offer process so it's basically based on the score based on the things there will be automatic campaigns running even the banners will be created automatically with the text being over there the banner automation can also be done by machine learning right for which we need an already existing campaign data which we don't have but that's an interesting because then it becomes end to end one of the machine learning will predict the tags and the flag another one actually takes it and sends the emails and campaigns automatically so that will be even more interesting for the companies to actually to, to deploy as a you know combination of machine learning solutions but that's a different machine learning solutions interesting though but here uh, like uh, i have a doubt like uh, we, here uh, we have to target the customers who are uh, uh, who wanted to who are uh, having a tendency to migrate uh, uh, to other uh, service providers like right. we have to target that people because in that case it's how can we this churn score will be useful uh, to get that information churn rate basically means the percentage of people who are moving to your other other things so how do you calculate churn rate is basically you, you're going to like find out the people who are going to churn out so using these like, these variables as uh, predictors you will be able to find the churn yes or no from that you are predicting who will be actually moving out okay okay and okay. and as i said this data is very well suitable for the use case but there are something missing i'll be more happy if you have a bit of uh, if it is a satisfaction level also because like uh, once this uh, normally when the customers made a call to the customer care and then they will route to the it's name because once the call has been finished and uh, normally it will uh, uh, route it to the request like whether you're satisfied or not yeah and uh, that rating will be normally will notify will if we get the value then we automatically get identify whether the customer has been satisfied or not if not and we can target the customer service call is something like that if i'm not wrong i haven't took a like took a look at the data yet but i think customer service calls is something related to that if i'm not wrong all right even though if you don't have it please work with the data what we have and in the next calls i will see if i can provide more data okay okay and okay okay so there's another question coming in technical right okay technically would it help if you had the competitors data for this instance well if you have competitors data not technically every time it will help right but uh, you know we don't have competitors data that's a sad part so we only have our data it's not just one company's issue most of the companies don't have competitors this is one of the reasons when we provide an industry level solution there will be resistance from the individual in in companies to actually adapt it because they fear that their data will be shared across the industry or maybe we will be using as a third party service providers their data for the competitors so they will not take it even though they are useful the so companies are very very um, particular about saving their company's data because that actually forms their competitive advantage so it is not possible uh so the data we are working with uh, deals with the customers uh, information like uh, how many minutes they spoke uh, and uh, how much they are charging is that right that's right okay 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 Thank and you. also it depends on the area and code because see uh, if a certain area people are migrating maybe there is more promotion happening in that area from our competitors so that can be also situation we don't know we should look from the data okay it may not be purely on the call and charge it might be also based on the late data and the length of the account more the length of the account less the resistance oh. less the length of the account then maybe you can easily migrate the loyalty factor is less so we don't know which factor it should be purely based on our analysis okay, okay. so can we, we, get should, we should just uh, find the uh, churn rate based on this data and nothing else uh churn rate and also come up with which are the influential uh, features and also create a predictive model with the new data you know if you give a new data it should be able to predict whether they will be churning off or not okay okay so we don't need to find like uh, the solutions for that we just need to find out like the reasons and we have to build a model 
that's all it is much simpler than the banking credit thing because i only few people have submitted it that's why we don't have a discussion even i haven't solved it but this is pretty straight forward case and also okay. highly used case as well okay uh, asok i have a i have a question in yes. first option you told uh, quantifying the data and giving a score to that one so basically who is think we have to quantify and give a score against that the credit like the churn score right yeah a churn score i have less idea as of now i'm thinking that trying to score the variable itself but i have to look into it yeah basically churn score is like we are doing the porting in our country that kind of thing i believe yeah is it customer wise or it's a future wise that's what i'm thinking I, i'm not sure about it customer wise no. simply quantifying the flag the flag may be yes or no the churn rate might be in more uh, you know percentage but quantifying the flag will not going to help in any way as i believe like yes or no factor how much is going to impact uh quantifying does help because if you have 90% chance of migrating you will get a better offer if you have 60% of chance of migrating you'll get a, a decent offer not the best offer so we could actually categorize bucketize the people accordingly reduce you know save some cost as well as retain basically we can make different clusters like where we will put those people who are going out like 60% chances in a cluster and 90% chance in you can do that different... or you can simply put a score itself because a marketing campaign can decide that okay okay, okay. yeah all right so uh, can we get a data like uh, uh, because who are the uh, customers recently uh, migrated from other service provider to other uh, our service provider i don't think we have that no we don't because by that we can concentrate more on that particular customer to retain to switch with our data plan alone and yeah. we can bind that customer side right? we don't even that have is. a date here as you can observe so it is a pure data no date as well so uh, okay. that becomes even easier for us and i don't know about the accuracy but the problem becomes easier and there was someone asking pranavi saying that can we use other tools like ibm spss for finding the campaigns <laughs> please do it in python because that is being very um, very popular but you can also use ibm spss to validate it so but please do it in uh, python the one of the reason we are doing this is you get mastery in python suraj yes you can assume a churn score one by 1 to 100 internet usage i okay uh okay uh, and, uh, can we by any chance get like uh, feedback from the customers who have already migrated like uh, the exact reason for their uh, migration no it is not given over here so it is just okay. given this data and i'll i'll try to find if you have more data uh, i'll just i'll try to see but you can work with this already if i can get some more data or i can generate some data for you by the reference data with the customer i will definitely add it and update the csv now it is easy for me to update because csv format i can send you the new version of data with some more fields added my sql i was not comfortable to actually add anything but this is pretty straight forward so i can do that oh, okay yeah thank you all right how can how how can you uh, how can you define the goal of this project in one or two lines uh it's basically four use cases so that becomes the goals of this project it's a bit of part of a project so i think that's good enough can we use neural networks you are welcome to use anything swastik uh, you have uh, no boundaries so you can use anything uh, it is you know it's basically binary so logic regression can be better we can also use xg boost random forest uh, or neural neural networks 4000 plus data so neural networks will also work can we get a network coverage as well network coverage area code i have no idea let me check because this client data is different from what i'm giving to you so if i can get network coverage for this i will get it for you whatever i have i already mentioned please work with this if you are not able to achieve the efficiencies which is required then we will try to find for new data okay uh, so uh, one question here like how do we uh, like test the efficiency test the efficiency you have 4600 uh, data so it's a sim similar way you do it like split it into 70 30 the same same workflow nothing nothing uh, uh, different from it who is this who is asking this question uh, it's a shiva kumari yeah. first part i missed 
I just oh. got it out. <laughs> okay, but have you attended the sessions, uh, normal sessions where you split the data into 70, 30 and 30 percent we uh, use for evaluation? I attended only one class, so. Okay, somehow okay. you got this as well because it's only for the people who have completed the entire session. Uh, but that, oh, okay. is, that is fine. If you are there, then you just try to see what you can do. Okay, good. I have more okay. questions. Uh, Rohit, yes, I'll definitely share this video. I'm recording it. And what is the Y factor here? Target variable is churn. Churn rate. Churn, churn yes or no, basically. Okay. All right, guys, if you have questions uh, regarding this, you're welcome to post it on Google Classroom. I will be answering there itself. A CSV file, I'll also attach and post it in the Google Classroom. All right. Okay, I have a last question. Is there any future uh, in particular mentioning about the customer migrating or porting to other network? It is churn, the last future, I guess. That would be your why, Alekia. Yeah? All right. Deadline will be 15, 20 days. Uh, if you are not submitting, then I'll increase it. But de by default, it is 15 days. Unsure. All right. I'm putting everything on Google. Have a great day. And I'll see you next week with some clarifications. Okay? All right. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Asokman.